I really think it's quite apt that we begin our hunt for 60 treasures in front of the Singapore Conference Hall. Oh, this was the former trade union house built in 65. The 1960s was rifled with labor unrest, strikes and anarchy. Well, it looks like we're really in for some exciting finds. A time of political turmoil and rousing ideals, personal triumphs and tragedies, the rise of local music and tourism. Welcome to Singapore in the 60s. Whenever people talk about the 60s, I get really excited when they refer to the golden age of Singapore music. Well, that's right. There was a big explosion of local productions and things and bands. And even at the Cathay, the theatre, they had live bands performing before they screened a movie. Really? Mm -hmm. Screaming fans and all that? In their heyday, the local bands had huge and devoted followings. Showing your support for a band included buying their album. Back in the 60s, this would have been a vinyl record. So it's probably safe to say that the craze for Singapore music and musicians in the 60s is kind of akin to the craze for K-pop today. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. But reading the blog of this individual we're going to meet, he really sure has quite a lot of stuff. And I think he has the largest collection of vinyls from 1960s. Okay, that is truly significant and I'm very interested in that. Well, let's see what he brings today. Sixties musician Andy Lim's collection of local vinyl discs runs into the hundreds, but he's narrowed it down to a few choice favorites for us today. So Andy, mm. I read that you know it was like people like Cliff Richard who came to Singapore mm. and performed at the Singapore Badminton Hall mm. that inspired the 1960s golden age of music. Right. How true is that? I don't know how far it's true if. It was Cliff Richard and the Shadows who, who, who uh, inspired because before that we already had our music scene in the 50s but if you want to talk about the recording stars who, who made their first records and the first vocal group to record is called the, the, the Shadows. Yeah. So that together with Cliff Richard's appearance all right, sparked off this big music scene and we call it the golden age of music. The first band Andy sang with was the Velvetones, a group consisting of him and his four best friends. Later, he sang regularly with several other groups, including the Silver Strings. The Silver Strings were actually an accompaniment group, you know, they accompany singers. But they recorded with Shirley Naya and uh, the two boys called the Beatles of Malaysia, Mike and Herb. This was later in the mid-60s. We played at the hotels. We played at cinemas like the Capitol, at the yeah, Rex so Cinema. What were the, the, the special places? What were the places where a lot of people would come to that are really popular? You, you'd be very popular if you could play at the National Theatre. Cover versions of Western songs were common. But it was the original songs composed by local music groups that left fans clamoring for more. Did everybody record in English? No, we had recordings in Chinese and you would also have that same one singer and a group of four and then we had the pop ye ye scene where the Malay boys and girls get into the act and the pop ye ye comes from the Beatles she loves you ye ye ye, ye. how cool! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know this group called the Trailers um, they recorded this Phoenix theme which I think uh, has been so popular because it's a theme song, you know, for Chinese New Year. I want to hear the Phoenix. Let's hear the Phoenix first. I think, uh, oh my goodness! Here we go. This is a Phoenix <laughs> This is a Phoenix This song. is like a classic, classic, classic yes. for Chinese New Year. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> These guys recorded this song? Yeah. And I think they sold a lot of records. But check out the difference is because they put in Western instruments, drum sets, yeah. guitar, electric, you know, guitar. But yes, like it that. does sound like Chinese music, yeah. but with that sort of go-go yes, yes. theme behind. Go. Well, a, a, lot, a lot was done that way, you know, using Western instruments. I mean, the three guitars and the drums. 
playing a lot of Chinese songs, Malay songs. Yeah, I love even, that. Even the in Indian songs. It feels like a true yeah. definition of, of, mm. of Singapore. Yeah. And I got to ask you, this is a great collection. All these wonderful records. I'd like to ask your permission to include this in the People's Collection at the National Museum. Sure, but only for a moment. Huh? Only for Not a moment. Not forever. Not forever. Sure. Just for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah.